Okay, let's take a look at this problem here. Uh, this is a nice one in which tape diagrams work pretty well. So Henry bought 280 blue and red paper cups. Um, now when it says that, we can't assume really that they're half and half. We don't really know. He used one third of the blue ones and half of the red ones at a party. And he has an equal number of blue and red cups left. So how many cups did he end up using all together? So let's see how we can do this. So I'm going to start off with a piece of tape. So um, these are Henry's cups and we have 280 right all together. And so some are blue and some are red. So this is the tricky part here. So we really um, we can't assume 140 each. So I might draw the line um, offset, maybe somewhere like that. Um, and let's just say these are blue over here. And let's try red over here. Okay, so I'm intentionally not um, drawing that line so it's right in the middle, so it looks like uh, you have a different number of cups. So then um, let's take a look. It says it that he used one third of the blue ones. So I'm gonna come down here, maybe keep this in blue, and I'm gonna make thirds. And it says he used one third of the blue right there. And then let's look at the red. It says there he used a half. So I'm gonna draw this at the midpoint here and shade those. So the shaded ones, um, those are the ones that were used for the party. Now, the important part is it says it looks like he has an equal number left and in my tape diagram that does look just about right so definitely a little bit of luck there um, but if these two white spaces are an equal number right of blue and red then that means because this is divided into two you can do the same thing here so I'm gonna break that into two but these two are equal so I'm gonna draw this line here as well so now I think you can see the power of the tape diagram is that all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bricks, right? And they total 280. And what that tells you is that one brick has to be 40, right? Just simple division. And then you can go back to the question, uh, how many cups did he use? And you can count these here, right? So three of those bricks. And so that's 120. And that's all there is to it.